I've always been fascinated by uh, hunter-gatherer cultures. Even when I was a kid, I was fascinated by this. I actually learned about the Hadza before I was um, really engaged with the Nature Conservancy's Africa program. And for many of us that support groups like the Nature Conservancy, we support those groups because we care about wildlife and nature. There's far fewer people that are connected to nature now than there were when I was born, and certainly no one connected in the way the Hadza are today. Now the, the Hadza are constrained to the hills uh, between the Yaida Valley and Lake Ayasi, which is a much smaller area um, with limited water sources and, um, and a lot of pressure from the Datoga and other pastoralists and agri-pastoralists around there. So it's, it's very constrained from what it used to be. The Nature Conservancy has 60 years of experience doing conservation projects. The issue with the Hadza is one of the most challenging things we face as an organization, and it's a challenging thing for the globe. And we do think that money will help. Um, but we also believe that there are technical uh, scientific and legal expertise that we can bring to bear here to help also make a difference. And we intend to do both. We want to create an opportunity for the Hadza to change and adapt to those conditions that are around them. And if they, they choose to live the way they have, then we want to help them to do that. It was interesting, the last time I was out in the Yaida, I um, was riding in a, a Land Rover from a Hadza encampment, and there were two women in the Land Rover with us, two Hadza women, and um, as we were riding to our camp, they started singing, and, um, and this amazing Hadza harmony, and they, they kept using the word um, mutano, which um, means both hello and goodbye in loose translation. And I stopped them for a little bit and said, well, what, what is this song about? Because I didn't understand anything else. And they said, well, we're, we're saying goodbye to the old camp and hello to the new camp and I almost started crying there because it was symbolic of what they're struggling with and, and saying goodbye to the old and hello to the new and I think for us if we can help manage that transition in a way that still ma maintains the character and the honor and the respect for what is Hadza that's what we're all about.